We are also following a hostage standoff still unfolding at this hour. Two police officers shot and rushed to the hospital in a suburban Atlanta neighborhood. They were responding to a call and then coming under fire. Heavily armed SWAT teams moving in. The gunman holding at least one hostage, a 16-year-old boy. It's unclear at this hour if a woman in the house has survived. The area on lockdown, part of I-75, shut down tonight. ABC's Steve Osinsami is on the scene for us. Police say the barricaded gunman in the suburban Atlanta neighborhood is promising to shoot cops and has already wounded two. Two Henry County police officers were rushed to a hospital in downtown Atlanta. One had to be airlifted. He's got two, two small children. The family of one of them spoke outside the hospital. This is the family's worst nightmare. This began with a frantic call from a woman reporting that someone inside the home may have been hurt or possibly killed. The officers were shot trying to enter the home. Some type of domestic dispute, it was a trouble unknown. We just didn't get the information. The female caller was distraught. Police say a 16-year-old boy related to the gunman is being held hostage in the home. A small army of local authorities set up next door and at one point sent a robot into the house. Families trying to get home couldn't. Neighbors inside their homes couldn't leave. Four kids were reunited with their father. Were you scared, Dad? Yes, I was scared. <laughs> After police helped them climb over a back fence. So let's get to Steve Osinsami, who's been on the scene for us all day long. And Steve, the officers themselves, they're expected to be okay? Yes, David. One officer was shot in the hand, the other in the upper torso. And police say that his police vest may have saved his life. Both officers are in stable condition tonight. David? Steve Osinsami. Steve, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.